Area 51. You know what it is. The US military base is famous for its highly secretive nature and conspiracy theories surrounding it. The base is synonymous with secret spy planes, government classified intel, and alien technology, possibly even aliens themselves. In this video, I'm going to cover all the facts and mysteries I could get my hands on. Also, I just want to thank you guys for all the success my channel's had in this last month. You guys are so awesome. Okay, so what is Area 51? Area 51 is a remote military base in Nevada. In 1954, the construction of the base was authorized by President Eisenhower. Its original goal was to create reconnaissance aircraft to use against the Soviets. The base was named Paradise Ranch, likely to make it sound more appealing for bright minds to consider working there. However, the base was anything but glamorous. The construction of the base seems to consist mostly of aircraft hangars, but many speculate the majority of Area 51 is underground. Also, to maintain secrecy, they would fly employees in and out of the facility rather than take vehicles. I can't confirm the legitimacy of this, but my great-grandfather frequented Las Vegas in his younger years. One of his friends claims it to have worked in Area 51. He stated that a helicopter would take him to and from work. Of course, nothing else was shared about his experiences at Area 51. Needless to say, the base was a success. The U-2 spy plane was developed. Immediately after the test flights for the craft started, various UFO sightings were reported. This is because commercial airplanes could only fly approximately 20,000 feet. However, the U-2 spy plane could fly at altitudes of 60,000 feet, making it an unreal sight for pilots of passenger aircraft of the time. The claims of UFOs could not be proven wrong by the Air Force, as they were aware of the truth, but it was top secret. An interesting thing to take note of was how impressive it was for the U.S. to keep secrets during the Cold War. Most of their technological innovations were displayed as intimidation for the Soviets, but they were able to keep the technology from Area 51 a secret. This seemed out of character, almost as if the technology they had access to was more valuable than they could afford to go public with, almost as if it was from another planet. Many of the sightings were dismissed as high-altitude weather research, which was clearly false and only stirred up conspiracy theorists more. Throughout the decades, declassified documents have shared that Area 51 is the home to the creation of many spy technologies, including the A-12, Bird of Play, F-117, and more. Okay, so that all makes sense. Area 51 was simply making groundbreaking innovations that seemed alien-like, but they just had to be kept secret. Thanks for watching. Of course, it's never that simple. Bob Lazar was a former government scientist who admitted to have worked on alien spacecrafts as well as components used to make the craft function. Lazar claimed to have worked at Area 51 for nearly six months in the 80s, where he and his lab partner focused primarily on discovering how the ship's reactor functioned. He described the reactor as a sphere floating over a square platform. The reactor, according to him, created anti-gravity, meaning that the reactor repelled objects like his hands when they were placed near it. Also, the reactor did not produce heat like normal technology. Another extravagant claim he made was the material used in the reactor. He believed that the reactor was made using the element 115, which actually did not exist according to us at the time. In 2003, element 115, now known as muscovium, was synthesized. However, it was an unstable isotope, so it degraded quickly. Lazar believes that the stable isotope for muscovium is the material used in the reactor and that it simply has not been discovered by humans yet. He claimed to have seen the inside of the ship, which he said was designed for beings much smaller than humans, about half the size. He also claimed that there were no restrooms or controls that you would expect from a long-distance aircraft. Lazar also claimed to have witnessed the craft partake in test flights where the craft, which appeared to be a typical flying saucer, would hover and maneuver in ways that no technology of the time could allow. In youthful ignorance, he brought his friends to watch the test flights from a distance as he had access to the flight schedules. Naturally, he was caught and likely threatened. After this interaction, he went to an investigative journalist who publicized the story. Bob Lazar is very much a controversial figure in the search for UFOs. Many argue about his legitimacy, and they have a good reason to do so. Both the university he claims to have attended and the prior companies he claims to have worked for claim no records of having him there. However, there was a newspaper article at the time that linked him to the organization that claimed to have no records of him. According to Lazar, that article was one of the catalysts of his experiences. The article written about him, which pertained to fitting a jet engine into his car, led to the connections that landed him the job at Area 51. Whether or not Lazar is a trustworthy person is up for debate though he does seem to believe what he is claiming. Also, all of his friends that he brought to witness the flight test claim to have seen the same thing. It's a very unusual circumstance, and it's very earth-shattering if everything Lazar claims is true. If Lazar is truthful, it's likely that we will never know, as the technology is so secure in Area 51. So, what do you think? What is really going on in Area 51? 
I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to read and respond to all of them, so entertain me. Also, if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing as I will continue to make more content like this. Have a fantastic day.